A horrific ride on Highway 141 in Marinette County yesterday ends with a man who shot himself dead. Good evening, everyone. You just heard part of the 911 call from a rather terrified couple from Illinois randomly shot at yesterday afternoon. Yeah, can you imagine? The shooter also fired shots at a deputy's squad car. Now, Fox 11's Kelly Schlicht has been following this story ever since it broke late yesterday afternoon. It's unreal. And Kelly, what's new this evening? Michelle, we're finding out more about the shooter. The Marinette County Sheriff identifies him as 43-year-old Rob DeGroot from Green Bay. DeGroot led deputies on a nearly 35-mile chase. It started near Wasaki and ended in the town of Goodman. Tonight, we have new details. 911, the northbound on 41. Just north of Crivets. I just shot out my windshield. He's shooting at other people on the road. Larry Peters was driving with his wife in this Jeep from Illinois to the UP when a bullet shattered his windshield. It happened just south of Wasaki on Thursday afternoon. The bullet hit right in front of her. The glass shattered into her face. She's okay. Just scared to hell. Peter stayed on the line with the 911 operator as the gunman, Rob DeGroote, chased the couple northbound on 141. He just shot at me. He just shot at Marinette County Sheriff Jerry Sovey says DeGroote shot the back of the Jeep with a 9mm handgun as he passed it on the highway. Fired at him again, and this, this goes all the way through uh, in the inside of the vehicle. Sovey says the couple didn't know DeGroote. Oh, they had seen it I, the further south down by Krivitz, but when they got up by Wasaki, then this happened. But uh, there was no, no apparent reason for it to happen. Sheriff's deputy is caught up with the suspect just north of Wasaki. He continued on 141 towards Pembine, where he turned onto U.S. Highway 8 and shot at deputies. Then DeGroote eventually turned down Shrine Road in Goodman. Deputies called for backup on the dusty dirt road. When they got out of the uh, armored unit, there was no response from the suspect who was face down on the ground near the crashed vehicle. It was off into the woods and through some trees. And then they approached him and uh, it appears that uh, he had a self-inflicted gunshot wound to his head. The Sheriff's Department says it will continue to investigate what led DeGroote to go on this drive-by rampage. The Marinette County Sheriff says he's grateful no one else was injured. The Sheriff says DeGroote also had a scoped rifle and ammunition with him in his vehicle. DeGroote had been depressed recently, the sheriff said. Tom?